Sundays are known for two things, laziness and brunch. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a lazy brunch. I'm gonna be doing a semi-homemade kind of Benedict style dish with a cornbread waffle, a fried chicken, and a chipotle cream sauce over the top uh, with a tofu egg thing in the middle. So come along on this journey as I turn store-bought ingredients into brunch. On the stove here, I have two pans set to medium heat. Uh, this first one over here, I'm going to be using to saute my onions and garlic, which are going to be for my sauce. And then over here, I'm gonna be doing some frozen hash browns. Uh, so I'm gonna be adding just a bit of olive oil to each of these pans, just about a, maybe a tablespoon. Uh, and then I'm just gonna throw my onions in here. And quickly cut open a bag of frozen hash browns. And I'm just gonna add enough to kind of fill the bottom of the pan here. I'm also gonna be adding a bit of seasoning salt to these potatoes. I find that this is the kind of flavor that you get from a lot of restaurants, breakfast potatoes. So these onions, I'm just trying to get maybe a little bit of color on them, I'm trying to just sweat them out a bit. These are gonna be in the sauce, so you just don't wanna put the raw onions into the sauce, so I'm just trying to cook a little bit of that rawness out. So the hash browns are just gonna continue to sit here. I'm not too worried about them. Uh, the browner, the better. So I'm just gonna check them every once in a while to make sure they're not burning. And I'm just gonna move on to make my sauce. So my onions are pretty much done. You can see they've got quite a bit of color on them, which is great. It's gonna add extra flavor to the chipotle cream sauce. Uh, for the last just minute or so, I'm adding my garlic to the pan. And I'm just gonna saute this up. You don't really want the garlic to get bitter, so it's just kind of going in here, getting a little bit of the rawness out. You know what, that's actually pretty much it. I'm not even gonna go the full minute. Now this is ready to go into the cream sauce. So I just checked my hash browns, it looks like they're ready to go, so I'm gonna try to just do a quick flip over. You can see they're beautifully golden brown, and I'm just gonna actually move the heat down to a little bit lower and just let them continue to cook. So this Chipotle cream sauce is inspired by a local restaurant here, a local restaurant chain, uh, and they use this on their fried chicken Benedict. Uh, I just added the onions and garlic that I had sauteed into this blender. Uh, I have here two tablespoons of Chipotle with adobo and two tablespoons worth of roasted red, red bell pepper. Uh, I have then a quarter teaspoon of cumin and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. I have the juice of half of a lemon about three quarters of cup of filtered water. And the last thing is a cup and a half of um, soaked and drained cashews. So I'm gonna start this out on low speed. Let everything mix together and slowly bring it up. So this went for about 45 seconds to a minute, and uh, I'm just wanting to taste it for seasoning. Um, as you can see, it actually started to produce a little bit of heat. It's really good. Uh, I do think it needs a bit more salt uh, and pepper. I didn't add any uh, to begin with just because I wanted to season it at the end, but I think it definitely needs a bit of salt. So my hash browns are browned and cooked through, so I'm just gonna turn these off. Uh, these can set aside. I'm not too worried about them being super hot when I serve them. So now it's time to work on the tofu. So here I have a block of tofu that I have just drained and set with a towel so it got some extra moisture out. Uh, and I'm gonna cut it up into uh, pieces that are gonna represent my egg. Now my waffle iron produces circular waffles that are into four, I guess, circular triangles. So I'm actually going to cut this block of tofu into a square. Uh, and then I'm going to turn this square into triangles um, so that it sort of mimics the same shape of my waffles. Now, I'm only going to be making probably four of these waffles, enough servings for two people. So I'm only gonna need about four egg sections. So I'm just gonna cut this in half and then try to cut it in half. Again, I probably could have gone about this a different way, but worried. So I have four triangles of tofu. 
that are about maybe a half inch thick. And I'm just gonna season these up and grill them in the pan that I sauteed my onion and garlic in. So I'm gonna season up this tofu to give it kind of an egg flavor. I have some nutritional yeast. I'm just sprinkling on one side and I'm being fairly generous with this. This does normally have kind of a cheesy flavor, um, but when you're doing this type of application, it doesn't really read as cheese. Uh, it kind of mimics the yolk-like flavor. So I'm being pretty generous with that and I'm adding some salt and pepper. And this is gonna be the side that goes into the pan first and I'll be doing the same type of seasoning on the other side. So I've got the pan back on about a medium heat here and uh, I haven't cleaned it out, still have some of the onion and garlic flavoring and that's absolutely okay because that will help season up our egg a little bit. So I've just got these triangles and I'm going to put those seasoning side down into this pan. And I'm just gonna let those hang out there for a little bit until they get nice golden brown on one side, season them, flip them over. So while these cook, I'm just gonna season this other side, again, being pretty generous with the nutritional yeast. So I'm just gonna check and see if these are brown. Beautiful, you can see that nice sear on there. And let's see if I can get these other ones flipped around. So I'm just gonna let these go another minute or two. Um, I'd say it was only maybe two minutes or so on this side to get this color and uh, just want it to warm through. It's not raw egg, it doesn't need to cook. Uh, just want it to get warm and get the flavor embedded. And uh, once this is done, I'm just gonna turn it off, set it aside. Again, this doesn't need to be super hot for the dish. All right, so for my chicken portion of this, I'm actually gonna be using a frozen chicken product, a Gardein. Uh, actually, it's not even their chicken, it's their turkey cutlets, but I think they're the perfect uh, texture and consistency and breading for this. You could use my uh, air fried or oven fried tofu recipe, um, but today this is what I'm gonna use. If Win Las Vegas can charge $20 for their chicken and waffles and use Gardein, uh, we can use it also. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking this in an air fryer, sort of an early adopter of the air fryer. Mine's about two years old right now, uh, still going strong. So I'm just gonna put a couple of these patties in here. All right, so for these waffles, I'm gonna be using a store-bought cornbread mix. And the cornbread mix is kind of accidentally vegan, not kind of, it is accidentally vegan. Uh, and the recipe itself calls for uh, the use of one egg and a half cup oil, three quarters of a cup milk. So instead of an egg, I'm using some aquafaba, which is chickpea liquid. Uh, I just keep it frozen when I make homemade chickpeas. So uh, that's about one egg equivalent, which is four tablespoons. And I'm not gonna be adding any oil, so I'm just gonna be using one cup of soy milk here. We'll see if that's enough. I might need to add a bit more liquid, but I don't necessarily think I need the oil uh, to make these into waffles. So I'm just gonna stir this up here. Check the consistency. Seems like that half, or that cup is actually perfect here. Uh, it's a nice batter and it will thicken up just a little bit as the cornmeal absorbs the liquid. It does have some dry bits of corn in it as well, which is nice. Um, and those will absorb some of the liquid as well. So this is pretty much perfect consistency and it's ready to go for waffles. All right, so my waffle iron is up to temperature. Uh, I have it about at a medium heat uh, and I'm gonna be adding just about a half cup of this batter. It depends on your waffle iron, how much you need to put in here. Uh, but as I said, this is kind of in triangular shapes. So when I end up making the final um, Benedicts, I'm gonna have triangles. So it's been about 
12 or so minutes here. Um, I made my waffles while these cooked. Um, these look like they're pretty much done, so I'm just gonna set these aside and um, let's assemble. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up now. Uh, I'm gonna be plating it up as if I were kind of serving this whole thing uh, to a group of people, so not serving it for an individual. Uh, the place that I was inspired by for this dish uses a mashed potato actually as their base, but I feel like the hash browns are just a little bit easier to cook and deal with. So I would start out with a base of the hash browns, and then I'm going to cut up my waffles. Um, this plate probably is only gonna get about three portions on it, but that's okay. Please pardon my hands. Looks a lot brown right now, which is why I wanted to add some fresh spinach to this just to freshen the dish up a little bit. Just a few leaves on each one. And depending on how hot your waffles still are, they will wilt the spinach a bit. Next layer is going to be the egg or the tofu layer. Now my chicken pieces here are quite big, so I'm only going to use half for each of them. But if you notice, they kind of resemble that triangular shape when they're cut. All right, next thing is the sauce. And I'm just going to spoon my chipotle sauce over the top. And the last finishing touch is going to be fresh chives. And I'm just gonna use scissors. All right, there you go. Guess depending on how hungry you or your guests are, this could be enough serving for one, but let's go ahead and take some glamour shots, give you some better angles of this, and then I'll come right back and give it a taste. So, taken a store-bought cornbread mix and turned it into a waffle. I've taken tofu and turned it into an egg. I've taken frozen turkey and turned it into fried chicken. And I've turned cashews into a chipotle cream sauce stacked it all together on some frozen hash, frozen hash browns, uh, and we have ourselves some brunch. So I'm excited to give it a taste, so let me dig in. So it lacked a little bit of structural integrity here. Uh, but overall, everything comes together really well. You wanna make sure that your chipotle cream sauce is seasoned perfectly, you have enough salt in there so that it carries the dish. Uh, the same with the egg. Tofu is a really bland thing, so make sure there's enough salt and pepper and nutritional yeast on that to make sure that it brings out a lot of flavor. Uh, the potatoes are also really important. I said you could do it with a mashed potato if you wanted, uh, although this is a lot easier using a frozen hash brown. Make sure those are seasoned up really well because everything together brings the dish uh, to a new level. I'm really impressed. The spinach is really nice for a bit of freshness in there as well. So give this a try and uh, you know, don't be afraid to play a little bit. If you find some other box mixes, maybe some pumpkin bread, maybe you could make those into waffles. Uh, experiment, play with what you see at your grocery store. Just because it says it's a bread doesn't mean it's not a waffle or a pancake. Uh, have fun with your food. So I hope you like this. I hope you try it. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Check out my other videos, subscribe to this channel. New videos out every single Monday. And as always, the full recipe for this dish is right down below in the description. So click like if you liked it and I will see you again next Monday.